Are you ready for a throwback? Sony just came out with three old school games for the PSVR 2. Res Infinite, Fantavision, and Sea Smash are games that came out more than 20 years ago. They all have been upgraded and revamped to take full advantage of the PSVR 2. But does Sony have the right idea? Can they make old games better with the PSVR 2? We'll find out in this video. So this right here is Area X. An extra level that was introduced to Res Infinite it was first introduced in the PSVR 1, but most of the game doesn't actually look like this. So we'll get back to this later. There's a few ways to play Res Infinite. You can use your DualSense controller, you can use the VR controllers, but right now what I'm doing is using my eyeballs. This is what's called dynamic mode. It's pretty much the original game the way it was released on Dreamcast, but updated with the Unreal Engine 5. In this mode, you can move your head and your eyes around, but right now I'm just trying to move my eyes so you can kind of get an idea of how the targeting system works with just your eye. This mode is especially fun if you have a spinning chair because it allows you to turn around and target enemies behind you. With the Unreal Engine 5 update, this game feels more like an interactive art piece than a video game. But even Unreal Engine 5 can't fix everything. But the real beauty of Res Infinite is Area X. This is more dynamic than the regular game. In this mode, you can actually fly around and position yourself in front, behind, or pretty much anywhere. The game is less linear and you have much more freedom. Area X also has an updated soundtrack and updated graphics. This really does feel more like a next generation video game. However, Area X is just one level, so these updated graphics and soundtrack you can only experience for Area X. Res Infinite as a whole is a beautiful game to experience in VR. If you have a surround sound or a good set of headphones, you're really going to have a great experience playing this game. It feels more like an art piece than a video game, but for $29.99, you're not paying for the full price of a video game anyways. If Res 2 came out with the updated graphics of Area X and the updated soundtrack, I would definitely purchase that game. However, if you've already played Res Infinite in the past, it is pretty much the same game. Speaking of pretty much the same game, Fanavision 22X. So this is pretty much just Fantavision, just VR. But this is one of those games that when you look at it, it was just begging to have VR from the first place. I'm surprised this game didn't come out when like Sony was releasing 3D versions of games. Even here in the menu, you could almost feel the waves hitting you. The depth perception of everything is really good. And this is just the menu. If you've never played Fantavision, Fantavision is just a simple puzzle game where you match colors. You can get three in a row, four in a row, you can get multipliers, and you can link together colors, what's called daisy chains, which makes even bigger explosions. This is one of those games that is, it's just difficult to give you my perspective because what you see here on this replay is nothing what it looks like when you have a VR headset on. This is full blown 3D. Fantavision also has a dynamic mode, which is what you see here, but really the only difference is that you're sitting much closer to the fireworks. So you actually have to move your head around more to see the incoming fireworks. Here's what it looks like in standard mode. I actually prefer this view better. Started off with dynamic mode, so you can kind of get a better perspective of what it would look like with a VR headset on. And here's a fast forward of one of the levels where you're floating above the Earth's atmosphere. This is something that just looks magnificent. I have this game for PS2. This just feels like a completely new game when you're playing it in VR. Even though this Fantavision game is pretty much just Fantavision, but in VR, it did feel like a brand new experience and well worth the money. This is a pretty short game. Playing it all the way through Platinum Trophies, I got it done all in a weekend. Yeah, that's pretty short, but it's one of those games that I will definitely show off to my friends when they come over. Not bad for 30 bucks. And finally, C Smash VRS. This game came out originally in 1999. I believe it came out for the Sega Dreamcast as an arcade game. Basically, it's a game of squash. Unlike the other two games, this is a complete remake. 
It's nothing like the original. If you notice, the other two games, I was using a regular controller for Fantavision, and I only really needed to push two buttons for Res. The other two games, you do also have the option to point and shoot using the VR controllers, but the game was actually just more fun using a regular controller. But in this one, there's no choice. You actually have to play in full VR. I think it's kind of funny how much technology has advanced and here we are playing Pong. I guess the point of this video is to show that there's games that are 20 plus years old being remade into a PlayStation VR, taking full advantage of the most current technology is making old games fun again. It just has to be done with the right game. I don't know if I actually want to play actual Pong in VR, but C-Smash is a great is a great twist to a classic game. I mean, Pong is basically just ping pong and Sea Smash is squash, but feels like playing ping pong, especially when you go online and play against somebody else. Unfortunately, this is still a demo. So online gameplay was very difficult. There seems to be a lot of lag for one person. My first game, I seemed to have no lag. And then my second game, like this one, I seemed to get all of the lag. It was very difficult to find the ball, but when there seems to be less lag and we both have a pretty good run, it is a really fun game. So hopefully these online glitches get ironed out before the game is released. But in the meantime, for what it is, the demo has actually been really fun and I'm excited for this game. So there you have it. Res Infinite, Fantavision, Sea Smash. Those three classic games 20 plus years ago, definitely worth the money for me. I love to see these games make a comeback and for a cheap price. So yeah, let me know what you think. Did you like these games? Do you think these games are worth only $30 price tag? Is there any other game you want me to review in the future? I'll be happy to do that. But uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.